This is one of multiple videos showing you how to use the Osteonado appliance in GNS3 to capture traffic off the wire and then generate the same traffic using Osteonado. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to capture CDP messages and specifically Cisco IP phone CDP messages using Osteonado and then inject those CDP messages into a GNS3 network. So what we did is capture CDP off a real network or physical network, and then we used Osteonado to generate the frames in GNS3. So again, if I start playing the packet again, the switch is complaining about a duplex mismatch. So I'll stop Osteonado because we're getting so much output here. On the interface, interface gigabit is zero, 00. Let's have a look at the running configuration of that interface. Notice we've got negotiation auto. So let's say no negotiation auto, duplex full. And let's run Osteonado again and see what happens. So frames are being generated in Osteonado but we're not getting any duplex issues. So show CDP neighbor. Show interface gigabit zero, zero. Full duplex has been set on this interface. Interface is up, up. And again, show CDP neighbors shows us the IP phone. Show CDP neighbors details. Shows us the details of the IP phone that the switch believes is connected to gigabit zero, zero. So that's switch one. Let's do something similar on switch two, just to show you what's possible with Osteonado. So on switch two, show CDP neighbor, or rather show CDP neighbor. No neighbor relationships exist on switch two. So what I'll do on port one is stop the generation of frames and select port two. And again, open the stream we're going to open the CDP phone PCAP file, import that, click apply, click the second interface and click play. And straight away notice we get the same issue on switch two, a complaint about full duplex. Show CDP neighbor on switch two, we see a neighbor relationship. The reason why it only complained once is we only generated one packet. I didn't change the number of packets sent on this interface. So only one packet was sent, but that was enough to tell the switch that a phone was connected to that port. So show CDP neighbors, notice the hold down time is counting down and eventually that will time out. But before it does, let's send another CDP message, we get a duplex mismatch and show CDP neighbors shows us that the hold time has now increased because of that message. So show CDP neighbors once again, there is our Cisco IP phone, which appears to be connected to switch two. And if we look on switch one, it looks like it's connected to this interface. Let's refresh the hold time. So notice the hold time is now refreshed. And what we could do now is simply generate multiple frames on both ports and make both switches believe that they've got an IP phone connected to them. So I've increased the number of CDP messages sent on Ethernet 2, so we get the duplex mismatch on the second switch. So no negotiation, auto, duplex, full. Show CDP neighbor. Now that I've configured 
interface gigabit 00. For full duplex, we don't get error messages on the console. But now both of these switches believe that they have the same IP phone connected to them, whereas in actual fact, that's a physical phone connected to my physical network. Here is a Wireshark capture showing the same phone connected directly to my Mac. But again, we could use Wireshark on one of these links here to view the CDP messages sent by Osteonado to the switches in the topology. And there you go. Cisco IP phone 7970, according to GNS3, it's connected to gigabit 00 of switch two. So it thinks it's connected here. I'll stop that Wireshark capture. Okay, so I've demonstrated a few things here. I've shown you how to use the Ethernet Zero interface to capture packets from a physical network. I've shown you how to get those captures in Wireshark, save it as a PCAP file, import that file into Osteonado, and then generate duplicate frames on multiple ports in Osteonado. This was an example of how we can use Osteonado to pretend that devices exist in the network Whereas in actual fact, there is no phone connected in the GNS3 network with these switches. It's connected to my physical network. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.